Like you said, my name is Casey, and I've known Rachel since she first came to Evansville. Um, she was a new member of the volleyball team. I was a junior, and little did I know we would end up becoming such great friends. It's only been four years, but it feels like I've known her my whole life. Okay, <laughs> all the late nights staying up talking instead of sleeping or studying, um, the long days in the gym and the everlasting bus trips led us to realize we have a special friendship. Rachel, I've looked up to you ever since we first met. You are one of the strongest women I know. Your faith in God and unconditional love and kindness to everyone around you is so inspiring. You've had such an impact on my life and so many others with your unwavering spirit and love of Christ. I love you so much. Hey, David. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that I knew way more about you than you probably thought I knew about you whenever I first met you. Rachel was so excited to tell me everything about your relationship as you guys grew together. It was so exciting to see her so happy, knowing she was falling in love with such a sweet guy. I really got to see a part of David's character when I sent him a questionnaire for a bachelorette party game. I asked him, when does Rachel look the prettiest? And his answer was, when she smiles and tells me she loves me. <laughs> It brings me great joy to see Christ at the center of your marriage. You are both such great friends, and I wish you both much happiness as you start your lives together. In closing, I'll leave you with some advice we got from a wise couple this week. They said, forgive, keep God in it, and make sure he buys you plenty of ice cream. <laughs> so please, everyone, raise your glasses. To a wonderful couple, David and Rachel, I love you guys so much. Cheers.